Welcome everybody to Spinner Rack, and today we are talking about Deathstroke Arkham. This is the new arc. This is uh, actually Deathstroke 36, and this is the new um, story arc that they're going with. Um, this is part one of a multi-part series. Um, here, basically, Deathstroke is captured, and he is stuck in Arkham. The question that we get from this comic is why and what's going on. Um, you are not 100% sure what's going on in this comic or what started, where's the beginning, where's the end. But, as always, Deathstroke is interesting. The writer is Priest and Bennis is the artist. I gotta say, um, love the art. The story seems intriguing. You know, you don't know where you are, but it seems as though that there's gonna be some really big turn of events. The comic starts off with Slade Wilson, you know, battling a who's who of the criminal underworld that are stuck in Arkham. Um, we're not exactly sure why, how he got there, why he's fighting them, or what's going on. Is it all in his mind or not? But, you know, it's something that we're going to be looking into more and more. Are we in the middle of the story or are we the end of the story? Are we at the beginning? I mean, where are we in this particular story? I mean, another thing we're looking at is whether um, f whether he's actually sane. I mean, that's a big thing. He, I mean, Arkham is not called Arkham Asylum for nothing. So the question is, he's insane or somebody's done something his powers have been um have been dampened by chemicals in his room to prevent him from using his strength his um his intellect and his um you know his powers so he's just in there so we're not sure whether because of those chemicals he's just not being himself or whether it's just that you know he really is being um he's really suffering some type of mental breakdown of course we have wintergreen who's in his head no one else can see him so is he really there or is he not so i mean we have that question but i think if you read um, prior books you'd think you know he's really there something we also see in this book uh just a couple of pages that they go into is Ro rose wilson the uh the daughter of um deathstroke you know she is seems to have been possessed by some i guess witch or goddess or something from when she went back to um to the Mong homeland the, which is in Asia, and um, now she seems to be kicking butt. Just to show you how nutty it is, one of the characters actually shows up as um, Harlequin, even though it's a guy, and he looks nothing like Harlequin. So Wilson tries to escape the prison, you know, with the help of Wintergreen, who's given him the layouts of the entire um, prison, but unfortunately, when he gets out, he is beamed out, and the question is why, how, and what the hell is going on? But of course, you're going to have to read part two to get to that. So hey, my review is, I think it's a very interesting premise. I think it's uh, it started pretty strong. I suggest you go out there and grab it. And um, hopefully this is just another uh, legendary run of priests, as we can see. And hey, the art is excellent. Spinarak, out.